showed you guys okay don't mind me for right now but i showed you guys in my last laundry video on how i fold my laundry how i put it away um but i was kind of thinking that i'd show you guys this so i'm in evelyn's room right now and the boys are no longer down here so this might get all like repainted but for right now i need to organize it and the problem is is i've never had a room for just toys so this room is really bad i'm going to show you so we just kind of just threw everything in here so that the toys weren't through the house a lot of this stuff like has a place to go and it has like where I can put it. I usually am pretty good with like organizing and keeping it all together. But my kids, some of them don't play with any toys. So I'm going to show you what I need to do to get this bedroom back in order. Get rid of some toys too. So I'm just kind of thinking as I'm talking to you guys because I have things in the area here. I'm gonna turn you guys around and I can kind of go through with you guys on what I'm thinking to do. This is what the room looks like. It's really bad right now. I already started tearing out things, so that's why all of that's hanging there. Usually that's up in the closet. So this is kind of how I have this organized. So up here is kind of like memory clothes that I need to pack up and put away. Right here is her Evelyn's diapers and painting stuff that I have no room for anywhere else. I told you guys with us living in a garage, we have very limited space in storage. So I kind of just stick things anywhere. But my goal is in this video to show you, I might have to do a part two because this might be long, but how I uh, redo everything. Down here, I started taking things out down here too. But in these drawers, I can't open them up anymore because Evelyn's bed is right there. So that's kind of like a wasted space. And I just took out the boys' clothes and put them in here to bring them upstairs in the upstairs dresser. But Evelyn's dresser's right there and I have these two things like jammed together. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna move that dresser over there and then I can move her bed over more and maybe store some stuff behind the door. But then I'll be able to open up these drawers and put, put things down here. So that'll work. Right now it's just like I have little people stuff. I have dinosaurs in there. I just need to get better storage stuff than just like wipe containers. Some of these toys were upstairs in the upstairs closet. So we brought them down for the kids to play with. And then up, up there is National Lachlan's clothing that can probably get moved somewhere else now. And then um, all the bedding and sheets up there. But Everything gets torn apart just by the kids grabbing or, you know, we don't usually use this room that much anymore because my kids don't play in here. But it looks like they do, but it, they really don't. So I have like either my grandkids over here or my sister-in-law's kids over here. They play with these toys then more than my kids do. So my goal is to get this all cleaned up, get rid of stuff because she don't, they don't need this stuff anymore. They really don't even play with it. I'll keep like the you know main important stuff but I don't know I have a hard time with getting rid of things so I'm more of a toy hoarder than my kids but that's a pile of blankets that's like memory blankets that either my aunt made or I made and them are things that I have a hard time putting away but I think if I just organize everything then we can get this cleaned up so i wanted to kind of do a before and after and you guys can see like how nice it'll look usually like i said this bedroom never looks like this um ever because it would drive me crazy and i would always have to like pick things up organize it but it got to the point where i didn't need to do that anymore because nobody went in here and all we used it for was to change her diaper and that was about it so and the boys using their dresser and Evelyn dresser. That's it. So we're going to take everything out of that dresser for Nash and Lachlan and put that upstairs. Put Evelyn's clothes in there because I just went through all her uh, clothes that I had in storage. And now I can go through that and see what I want to keep and get rid of. But my goal is to get this um, done. So I'll have you guys just follow along. And if you guys have any ideas too on like toy hoarding <laughs> i just kind of have to laugh at it just because 
I just, I have a hard time getting rid of things. I just think, oh, maybe one day they'll play with it. Or maybe, you know, somebody else will come over and come over and they'll like it more. So I kind of suffer with that. But, so that's kind of funny. But, um, yeah, eventually we'll paint this over and then this will be Evelyn's bedroom and not the boys anymore. So we won't have a Batman bedroom anymore. Okay, so I put some blankets over here. And some of her toys that she can't play with right now and then humidifier and stuff so that's just up there and then i'm gonna put their sheets and stuff here too because all the sheets are up there but i want this like whole roll to be just toys and not the clothing part and this whole side can be clothing or you know toys down here but so did this a little bit better on um, I don't have any lights in here, so you can't tell, but shoes will probably go over there until we have a locker out in the garage for her. Um, underwear and then socks and tights over there. And then just her diaper thing right there. And then her clothes get hung up right there. So that's where all that is. And I just have it off to the side right now so I can organize it. Them drawers are empty, but I'll be able to do more with them once I move her dresser and stuff over. So. That's just a little organized right now. And then um, this stuff has to be packed up and put away because it doesn't fit her anymore. I got some clothes over here that I can go to somebody. And then I need to just tackle this. I have a lot of puzzles and different things that I went through a while ago. Um, and I have some like right there I need to go through and see if there are all the pieces are there or not. So that's just kind of random stuff that I want to make sure to go through so that's about it for right now i'll have you just continue to watch while i fix this crazy room right now i pulled everything out from these areas i don't really have any lighting to really show you guys oh maybe i can get that to turn on okay so that up there let me back up so this is in the corner i still need to this is stuff that needs to go like bring to like I don't know that just needs to go but all like the batman stuff that's all going to be repainted and done uh, eventually up here in this closet there was like bedding and stuff you want to get out are you stuck okay how about you go one two three there we go um they like climbing in these little holes so um but these areas are cleaned out and I organized them a little bit better. So there's blocks and this shelf is where she can't reach and she can't grab because these toys are like pull out, play with them, put them back. That kind of toy. But other toys like closer to being down here is things that the kids can grab. So I got kid puzzles back there, guy, guy box, um, just some like backpacks and stuff. Mama. You found another backpack? But she yeah. likes backpacks right now. That's her. Well. Yeah, that's that's your thing, isn't it? Okay, so that's organized. She just came in here, so she was playing with the little people stuff. That I can pull out any time. But now I have some of her dresses hung up. I have more that I need to hang up. And then I think that dresser is going to go here. This bed is gonna go like over there i think and then that'll be all repainted like i said and then we still have to work on this but if once i have all these clean then i'm able to get rid of some of this so we have like thomas to train in there that they never play with i want to put them away we have a whole car bin over there we have too many cars i need to go through it baby like baby bin stuff that i have to go through and then this stuff down here is just like gun, like play guns, um, swords, lightsabers, and stuff like that that need to just be put away. So I'm going to organize that. Um, but I'm going, these drawers are all empty now. I know if you guys watched my laundry video, you would you saw how I put all of National Lachlan's clothes in there, but I took them all out now because then we're going to go upstairs. So I have a lot of clothes of hers that need to get put in there, and that's what I'm going to do. But I'm glad that I did this. And the thing with 
their closet is we don't have like a cover. So I'm glad that her clothes are gonna kind of cover um, the sheets and blankets that are back there. Cause I have more to hang up here. So that'll all get covered. So that's pretty cool. And I don't really care that there's not a curtain over here because unless once I paint it, I could do like a girly thing over here. I don't know. Well, I'll think of something, but her theme is kind of Beauty and the Beast. My daughter, my oldest daughter, if you guys are new to my channel, my daughter is 27 years old. She's married and out of the house. She has three kids and she made this for Evelyn because Evelyn is the only sister in the family so she made them for her um they're like an image that she had kind of maj podged on here so that is like super cute with evelyn's theme so uh, maybe i can do some kind of beauty and the beast curtain or something like that i can sew up quick or whatever we'll think of something and then as for the drawers and all that that'll be painted and I can maybe get some Beauty and the Beast like knobs for them drawers. Because up there, if you guys can see, that's like Batman buttons and stuff. And I think I will change them out. And them lights, we got to fit more like a Gotham City style. I wanted them to be rugged or rough looking. Um, so that's what we have for that. And then we have a big Batman symbol up on top that we'll get rid of. But then I will find more, um, probably do the rest of the lights like that. It's like a chandelier style. We'll get two more of them. Hopefully I can find where we got them from and put them in that spot. So that will be super cute in here. I have boy toys in here just because, you know, with the boys upstairs, they don't really play up there. They would play down here mainly. So that will help with, um just keeping toys down here and maybe not upstairs in the bedroom so much so I'm gonna continue to clean and move things around and see if I can get you know somewhat some things accomplished so we'll see okay you guys can sit and watch and I'm gonna move that stuff over so that I can I'll move my light over so I have more light over there and then I will put um probably put her bed over there and move the dresser so I'm gonna um just show you guys how I will be doing that the dresser over and behind the E were some flowers so I just took some off and just kind of draped it that way and I have to clean right there I actually had to pull off a panel to get the dresser and the bed to fit in that spot but I'm gonna have toys back here so you're not even gonna see that so I'm okay with that because I don't remember where I put that piece right now but I'm gonna clean this all up I'm gonna put toys back here that they don't really play with but they can get to if they would like to and then I moved her bed over here and I have to decide if I want to keep it this way or put it against that wall. So 
We'll just give it some time to see if I'm gonna like it like this or not. I'm not sure. I do have these little knobs. I was telling you about knobs to put on the drawers. I do have these from Hobby Lobby that maybe I can buy more and put on the, just add them to the other ones and just keep it the same color. Why don't you guys leave me a comment down below if I should keep the knobs for all of the drawers or if I should get Beauty and the Beast ones to go on these and up there, or just get Beauty and the Beast ones for up there and put the pink flower ones down here. Why don't you guys leave me a comment and maybe you guys will decide for me. That would be kind of fun. I'll see what you guys say about that. Um, I do have to freshen up some of the paint over here and then obviously redo everything in these closets. I have yellow in there and the color that it was before. And yeah, I finally have just a girl room with just Evelyn down here. So that's super cool. I like that I have the bed moved because I'll be able to have like the kitchen set over here and play over here. Or I could take the kitchen set and put it right here and they'd be able to play over here in a different area. And then that would give them a whole area over here to have open. So we'll see. I'm not sure what I want to do about this, but I'm just going to keep going and see how much I can get done. the kitchen set there and then all the like doctor kit and kitchen stuff over there our little wagon baby stuff I went through that and that's just babies and bottles and then in here is just little people stuff and then her little baby stuff and then and here are some Legos yeah down here is just her little odds and ends toys I got the changing table cleaned off. All clean and what? Okay, hold on, I'm almost done. I put the Thomas the Train stuff up there because they never play with it anyways. And then I have games and um, like activities that stay in like a kit, puzzles, bigger Legos, some more stuff like Potato Head magnets are in here and then just like the instructions and then this is all like stuff i just pull out randomly and then we put it away right away so they don't really have access to that all the time and then down there is puzzles a guy bin and that for right now i took all of their underwear and stuff out of here and that's just her books in that little toy and then these are, I went through this too, and these are just random toys, but this is okay that that stays in there because um, they like to play with them little toys like that. So I got the whole room cleaned up so everything is like swept. I would have to just clean down the floor and then that's all National Auckland's toys. So like a gun bin, gun bin right there, car bin, garbage that needs to be looked through and then that storage bin so i don't know if i need and then her bed that's a cow 
And then that's all like the big stuff where like they can play with guys in cars. And I'm not sure if I'm going to leave that in here or not. If I do, it'll just like kind of line up down here. And they can play with it right there. But I really need to go through the car bin and the gun bin because that's like really piling up big time. And I think that's the majority of what's taking up space is them two things. But I got majority of everything done. So nice and clean over there. And she's already getting into everything. What? My my books. Your books. All right. So that's it for tonight, and then tomorrow I will finish up and get that area clean. So you guys saw that yesterday I tried organizing um, Evelyn's bedroom, and I got the majority of it like moved around and put to where I wanted to put everything. So we have the kitchen set, her dresser moved over in this area, her closet, some stuff hanging up I have to still go through more laundry and put things away um this i need to organize again and then now i have this full i have this full dresser right here that i can put all her stuff in um but back here is still what i need to um organize and that is the guns and um like dress up stuff for the boys and then um, big stuff that the kids play with. But I still want to figure out how I'm going to organize that. So that's what I'm going to do today. And then I should already be done today. Evelyn's over here. What you doing? Brushing your teeth? You cooking or making coffee? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Um, so that's what I'm going to finish up today is just get her room done. And then I'm going to organize clothing part of it because I went in the attic to get all like the summer stuff out and she has some stuff that I got from somebody. So I need to organize all that and organize the boys summer stuff too and go through both their dressers and then figure out um, Nash and Lachlan's dresser from up in the attic or upstairs in the hallway. Took everything out of there. I don't know if I'm going to show you that because I mainly want to focus on her bedroom. Um, and then I'm not sure when I'm going to do the painting, but maybe in another video I'll show you how I finished um, the painting part. But for right now, it's just more or less changing everything around since the boys went upstairs and now it's mainly Evelyn's room. So I'm just going to focus on that. I really need to downsize on the toys and get that organized. So that's kind of what I need to do. The thing that we did with the boys, we finished their um, bedroom floor. Here, I'll show you in a second to match the theme of the bedroom. So I don't know if I maybe will go over it again for Evelyn in her room. I'm not sure yet, but this is what we did. We did like a speckled flooring, kind of like garage rustic or like a because it was supposed to be like Gotham City. So we kind of just made it more like that kind of flooring. But I think with F being a girl room, I really want to make it more feminine. So we will update that. It. We will update that when I can. But I think mainly just painting them three walls will really improve um, what the bedroom looks like. And there's some touch up like on the white and stuff that I need to do. So I'm gonna do that too. Um, Evelyn's just playing in here now because the room is, you know, cleaner for her to play in. And I'm in here also. I think that helps too. So I'm going to get started cleaning up this mess and hopefully I can get it done.
this is what it looks like after I organize everything. Evelyn's bed is put together. That was that area that was full of toys. So I took down all the, or I uh, organized all the cars to fit in there. So that's all the cars that they get. I organized the guns. That's all clean out. That's just puzzle and then their uh, swords and stuff. Um, this I still have to go through because that's odds and ends that need to probably go. Um, and then I still have to hang up some of her stuff, but that's clean. And then all their kitchen stuff back there. So I think that'll be nice back there because then the stuff will kind of just stay back there. Right here is like big chunky cars that they'll probably just keep. So I'm fine with that. But otherwise... This is what it looks like until I paint that side of the room. So, much better than before. So, I'm happy with that. I don't have any of her clothes in this dresser yet, so that's another thing that I need to, need to do. But otherwise, that's it. So, I'm happy that it is finally finished. And they are playing there. What are you guys making? That's I, your coffee? Yes. Is he making coffee? Yes. Where's the little green thing that goes in there? I don't know. Oh. Did someone say coffee? Did someone say coffee? Yes. No more Can I have a tomato? All right. Oh, wait. I want to have it. There's only one half of a tomato, but she has that. No. Mm. I want a waffle. You want a waffle? 